So for the past like six weeks or so, I've been um, posting a series of videos of me like showing off me buying some mainline Atelier games, unboxing some of the special edition premium boxes and stuff, and even like buy importing games and such. So if you want to watch any of those, uh, go ahead. I'm showing them right here. But the way this all started was all due to the Atelier Rise that anime that was announced back in March. For some reason, when that got announced, something malicious took over me and I just decided to buy the entire mainline series of Atelier. And here's the result. So I'm going to go ahead and go through all the games in the Atelier series that are mainline. There are a whopping 25 games, including the newly released Atelier Rise of 3. So let's go ahead and start from the very beginning with the first saga, Salberg. So this is the game that started it all, Atelier Marie on the PlayStation 1. It was also on the Saturn. This is the Plus version, which uh, is basically an updated version of that they released shortly after. And then we have the second game there, Ellie. Then they moved on to the PlayStation 2 era with the third and final game of the saga, uh, Lily, which is also a Plus version. And then that's a guiding game for Lily. Then we have the second saga here, Gromnod, which consists of Judy and Vidate. Um, then we have this CD soundtrack here of the five games. Basically, it includes a bunch of tracks from all five games. It's pretty cool. It's sealed. It came with the listing that I got for all these five games together. It was the Japanese import that I got all these from, so that was a nice little bonus. Here we have the third saga called Iris, which are in the title. We have Atelier Iris Eternal Mana, Iris 2 The Azoth of Destiny, and Iris 3 Grand Phantasm. These are basically more traditional RPGs. They don't have like the much more slow paced non-story focused so i'm probably gonna start with those then here we have the fourth saga the mana saga which consists of only two games we have mana cameo one and two the second game being a special edition which i actually unboxed if you want to go check that out here are the content the contents that it bring really i actually like this package it's the one that i paid the most out of any of the games on here. Next we have the Arland Saga. This is where basically the series became main mainstream. We have uh, Rorona, which comes in this special premium box. Doesn't bring as much as the Manakamiya 2 premium box, but it was still pretty cool. And I like the big box. I unboxed that as well if you want to watch that. Then the second game in the Arland is Totori, which actually is sealed. Then we have Meruru, which she has a very cute design. Those are the three. There's actually four Arlen games, but I'll get to that later. Then we have the first and the Dusk saga called Ayesha. Then the second and third one, Eska and Lagi and Shali. I don't know if I'm saying those right, but that's what I think they are. So that's the Dust Trilogy, also can, a very popular uh, saga in the series. Then comes the Mystery Series, which consists of four games, but I'll talk about three here. We have It starts with Sophie and Ferris, which were two of the ones that cost me quite a bit to get. They're pretty. They're kind of rare. Then we have Liddy and Soleil. Again, I don't know if I'm saying those right. Then here's the fourth Arlen game I was talking about, Lulua. Um, yeah, as you can see there, this game is also sealed like a couple of the other ones. And the Arlen is on the title, the Scion of Arlen. So it, all so it all connects back to these three games, so make sure you are aware of that. Then we have the start of the Secret Saga, which is the one that people are most familiar with now, the Ryza series. Here we have the first two, and I unboxed these from Video Games Plus if you're curious. Then they actually decided to go back to the mystery series, like I said, which is a sequel to Sophie, Sophie 2. And this is actually also sealed. And then we have the 25th game, which just came out 
back in March, the third Risa game, which is a conclusion to the Secret Saga. We actually don't know much else about what's coming next, except the Marie remake in July. But as of now, this is the entirety of the mainline Atelier games. And yeah, I spent quite a lot getting all these, but I'm pro I, I need to play them to justify the cost. I plan on doing that. Besides that, I'm actually very satisfied to actually have an entire mainline series this long. It feels so satisfying despite the cost, and I'm definitely going to be playing the games for sure. Given how the first two have an English patch translation on a PS2 compilation they were in, I'm probably going to start with that, but the third, fourth, and fifth games aren't English translated at all, so I'll probably just skip to the iris after that. The other two English released ones that I'm still missing are the only two spinoffs ever released here, one being Atelier Annie on the DS, and the other one being Nelk, which released on a bunch of platforms. So on Annie's case, it's way too expensive. I'll show a listing here. Way out of my price range, so that's a definite no on that. In Nelk's case, it is more affordable. Uh, at least the Switch version is, so that's not the issue. But the issue is that it's like Fire Emblem Engage and that it's a celebratory game featuring a whole bunch of the characters of the Atelier series. So I thought I'd at least experience the series first, some of the games, before I jump into this one, if that makes any sense. But with that, in the comments, tell me what are your experiences with uh, the Atelier series? Have you played any of them? Are you hyped for any of them? Let me know. I'd love to read your comments. And with that, I'll leave you. Bye.